trying to wifey. Stop trying to be in a relationship with a man or a woman that's for the streets. I'm going to say it again. Stop trying to be in a relationship or force a relationship with somebody for the streets. Now, this is self-explanatory, you guys, you ladies. This is for both sexes. I'm being honest. I see it happen too much in 2024, 2023. It's getting worse. Stop trying. Stop trying to control or be in a relationship with somebody that's for the streets. Let me tell you what happens. You don't think she for the streets because she got your child. She for the streets. You don't think he for the streets because he come home every night. He for the streets. You don't think that she's for the streets because she's a homebody. Nah, she for the streets. See, people got what's for the streets mixed up. If somebody else can fuck you, or somebody else can suck you, or eat on you, or slurp you, besides your significant other, then you're for the streets. People try to pick and choose when they for the streets. I'm gonna break this shit down. And if you stayed this long, put story time in the comment section. I'm gonna break this shit down. And mention the comment section, Pinned up is my TikTok and Instagram. Please go to both platforms, follow me, and run that shit all the way up. Now, let me tell you how delusional some women is. Now, I'm not just picking on women. Guys are very fucking delusional, too. But I spend my time with mostly women. If it's 365 days out of the week, half of the days I'm by myself because I'm antisocial. The other hundred and what? 30-something days, I'm literally with females, numerous ones. So I hear a lot. I see a lot. They feel comfortable with me, and that's my next video. So y'all go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'm going to tell you what women do when they get real comfortable with you. So with that said, they get right back on track. All right, to show you how delusional women are and don't think they're for the streets, I had a girl doing my hair. This girl is married, and while she's doing my hair, she just got done sucking my dick, and she answered the phone for her husband and kept sucking, and she was telling me about her homeboy that just left from the army. He bought her a whole bunch of weed and shit, and he was mad because he know her weed, man, and he wanted to bring her weed, so they got in an argument, and she ended up fucking with the best friend for the army. So that means four guys is in her rotation. Who knows how many more? And this girl, sit. I'm sitting in this chair. That's why this chair is here. She's doing my hair. We watching my television that's right there. And we watching some she want to watch. The baddies, ATL. And she's telling me that these girls on here are whores. And they'll never find a husband. And they ain't shit. And y'all know how bad I wanted to look back and say, you got four niggas and you married and you ugly. What the fuck? But I, I didn't say nothing. Silence is power. Why tell her for free when I can get paid to tell y'all? Why tell her something that's going to go in one ear out the other when I get paid to tell y'all it's going to stick with y'all? Think about that. Number two. I literally had a bad bitch come. She took off her pants to do my hair. If y'all don't understand, if your girl got a weed man or your girl go around doing dreads and shit, she's fucking like hell nine times out of ten. Just like every stripper don't fuck, but nine times out of ten, majority of them do. Let's just be real. So with that said, this girl is actually doing my hair. She comes in here and think that's sexy. It turned me off. She got butt naked to do my hair. And she looked it straight, was tatted up. But I'm thinking like, why are you walking around butt naked? I got people knocking on the door, shit like that. Like, it's not the time for that. But I let her stay butt naked and she was doing my hair. And I smelled nothing. So she starts sucking me off. If y'all ain't understood by now, I might have had head by a thousand girls. I might have only fucked 50. 
I like just getting head, bro. That's just how I rock. It just make me feel powerful. I'm like, man, I didn't even fuck you. And you suck my dick. Like, come on, man. Like, y'all niggas eating pussy and they ain't even getting the fuck. I'm the totally opposite. So with that said, this particular chick was sucking me. You know when a girl's sucking you, she got that butt up in the air, she got it arched. I like I'm finna smash her. If I'm not mistaken, she's married as well. So as soon as I get ready to go up in, I smelled a bad ass odor. A bad odor. It smelled so bad, my dick went from here to here, literally. I stroked like four or five times. I quit. She said, What's wrong? That, oh, wait a minute, that feel good. I, I didn't even tell her. I should have told her she stank. I said, oh, man, I forgot. My bad. We got to go ahead and hurry up. I got like seven weeks in my head. She only had two left in the back. I was like, let's hurry up. As we sitting in here, we watching TV. This girl is watching. I don't want to lie on her. What we watching? Uh, Raising Canaan. She tell me that Raising Canaan mama, Canaan's mama, Oh, uh, I forgot her name. Uh, uh, bad little bitch. She told me that she looks like her pussy stink. And she said it boldly. And she's like, that's one thing I don't like about her. It just looked like she stink. And she like, she stink. These girls just need to get their hygiene right. And I'm thinking like, this girl had to smell how stinking that room was. And she's talking about other girls need to get their hygiene right. What the fuck? It stunk so bad. I called my homegirl. She a little heavy, real thick. She said, see, those slim thick girls don't wash as good as us. Heavier girls because we know we got to wash good because we got, we got a lot of thickness in them crevices. These skinnier girls or them slim thick girls, they just want to just wash and leave out the house. These girls just don't properly know what they're doing. So this is what I'm saying. You're nasty when you know the mission is to come get this guy some pussy and it still stink. I done been in situations, people don't talk about this enough. A girl will get out the shower and pussy still stink. People don't talk about this enough. A lot of women, you could go down there and eat them. You could start fucking them. It smell like water as soon as they nut. They insides are so nasty and so full with other niggas cum and so full of shit when they nut, all of a sudden it stinks. Once they nut, the sex go from clean sex to nasty sex. But we're not here to talk about hygiene. But hygiene has a lot to do for the streets. Now, can a girl have squeaky good pussy that's for the streets? Hell yeah. That means she really know what she's doing. Can a girl have stinking pussy for the streets? Hell yeah. That means she just out here thugging. So it's something called pH balance. If you let different dicks, or you're fucking with a guy that's fucking with other women, or you just not eating the right thing or whatever, that pussy can go sour. Now, I know you guys don't want to think about it this way. But when you go on Instagram, TikTok, all these porn sites, and you see these motherfucking girls twerking, and it look like you could drink their bath water, nine times out of ten, they pussy stink. You think these girls getting up in the morning, making uh, Instagram twerking videos, and they washing their ass properly every time before they do this? Hell no. And the last story on hygiene, because it sounded like this video about hygiene, but it's about for the streets. My homeboy just smashed a badass bitch. When she walked through, I was even saying to myself, like, damn, cuz old score with this girl. This girl up there with my girls. And he ain't the type that get girls like that. So I'm like, damn, but I ain't gonna snake, homie. I'm just like, I'm proud of homie. He showed me a video. You can see it clear on the video. And he stopped fucking her. He smashing her. He said he smelled something, but it wasn't pussy. It smelled like shit. He spread her ass cheeks apart. He recorded it.
Clearly on the video, you see little hunks of dookie stuck on hair. This girl knew she was coming to fuck him. She took a mean shit. Didn't even use wet wipes. Didn't even rewash. Ladies, the words that say I got to pee whenever you get ready to fuck, they just going to check. Respect women like that. When she come out the bathroom and all of a sudden she changed her mind, that mean her hygiene won't up the point. She's doing you a favor. Now, I done had a homebody that smashed a girl and he literally had on his shirt and he let me smell the bottom of his shirt and I literally threw up. Now, I'm not saying y'all said, uh, uh, uh. no, I literally threw up. Throw up came out. If I ate a steak sub that day, and drunk a, a mini maid, that bitch was on the ground. It stuck that bad. Now, let's get back to the video that's in hand. But y'all go to the picked up comment and y'all follow me on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. I make the same content, run it up, let these people know where you come from. We family. So, all right, for the streets, I'm gonna tell y'all how I operate. And people can say it's rough, but I'm telling you what worked for me. Y'all not me, but I'm also not y'all. What worked for me won't work for y'all, but what also worked for me can work for y'all. Do it not matter if we both got a 620 credit score and we go get uh, some rental property? Your 620 ain't no better than mine. We are the same, but I may have a better income. You may not. So the, the different stroke for different folks, but the same thing. So anyway, with that said, shouts out to the guy say he love my chain, man. He likes, I got me a big ass tab pin it coming. I'm going to get these to my kids. It's about 10 grand. It's like five grand, not including the VBSs I put on it. So all together, it's about 10, 10, 14 carat heavy, heavy shit. But anyway, uh, but I appreciate that dope, but, uh, Matter of fact, I might give away these chains, 14 carat, uh, whenever I get that big old piece. I just want one big old piece, you know what I'm saying? But when I get this, you know, I may give it to my best subscriber. So just keep on um, two of them, two subscribers. I'm not going to give two to one. But anyway, uh, yeah, just keep on. I already got in mind who I'm going to give them to because I got people consistently every day showing me love, showing me love. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all. So with that said... I know this video a little shocking, but damn, let me go ahead and finish the point because I like to give out real scenarios, fuck example, things that actually happened to me that made me say these girls from the streets. Now, I chose that these girls from the streets because the information they provided with me and the information they provided to me. And I decided that I don't want to deal with it. Now, what's going to happen? I'm going to lose out on some good pussy. Oh. I'm going to save myself from some bad pussy. We just talked about it. And this girl going to respect me and want me for the rest of my life and be obsessed with me for the rest of my life. Or these girls going to realize they worth and say, fuck that nigga if he don't want me. But usually with women, they move off emotions. So usually it's going to be, I'm obsessed with him, but I'm not going to just hit him up first type shit. Now, I'm finna break down a couple of examples that didn't happen to me within a week that y'all can realize that they for the streets and that's come with playing games. Number one, I got a girl, Puerto Rican chick. She write me every day, good morning. Y'all, I be at the gym. I be busy. I be doing a lot of stuff. She wrote me yesterday and said, listen, I don't know if this is going to continue because of I always have to write you back first. Uh, I always have to write you first or initiate the conversation, what I meant to say. You guys, I told her that we're not in high school. When I think about you, I will reach out. When you think about me, reach out. I don't have time to keep a score. This ain't old block in 63rd. We're not keeping a score. You got one up, I got one up. You got two up, I got three up. She said, well, I need you to make sure that you hit me up every day and every night. I don't want a girlfriend. I told her no. And I haven't taken her back and she keep blowing me up. But see, that's for the streets. I'm going to tell you why that's for the streets. You're screwing by your ex 
Why? Because you told me. You told me that he used to have a double life. He used to cheat every night, every morning, and used to be elsewhere. You want to hear from me to make sure I'm not doing that. You're not going to bring your scar and demons upon my life. Keep that shit over there. Because what happened is girls want to confine in you and give the guy that they talking shit about the pussy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Listen, they want to confine in you, the new nigga, and they want to get a nigga that treat them like trash, the pussy. Don't be the nigga that's getting the talking. Be the nigga that's getting the pussy. All right. Now, number two for the streets. It's this young chick came to stay the weekend with me, right? We fucked all weekend. The girl was so in love, she asked me could she move with me. The next weekend, I had something to do. The next weekend after that, she sent me videos of her in the club. The day after, she was at the beach, had a whole bunch of guys in the background. With the guys in the background, she's telling me, you got to be my husband. Saw her page, she posted up, to my bestie, let's celebrate for your birthday. It was a little short, light-skinned guy with teeth all in, diamond teeth all in his mouth. The next weekend, I don't be looking for this stuff, she sends it to me. She sends me a video looking beautiful and a sexy-ass pink dress. I saw a nigga come right up behind me and kiss her right here. Guys, I'm stoic. I didn't say nothing. I just cut her off. You're trying to get me to wife of you, but, but, you at every club, you at every party, you at every beach with a whole bunch of niggas. But during the weekdays, this is all I hear. I work two jobs, I don't have no help, and I'm miserable. But on the weekend, you miss turn up queen. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. And if you think these girls with all these homeboys ain't fucking them, or you wrong, let me show you how I got proof. When she was here that weekend, she said, look at my new boo. She shined the camera in my face on FaceTime with her girls. I did like this. Her girl said, we don't know him besides from being on social media. He's a big social media influencer. But girl, we ain't fucked him. We don't know him. She's like, yeah, that's my boo. Can't nobody touch him. She said, every weekend you got a new boo sucking his dick. I didn't hear nothing. I didn't pay it no attention. Story number three, I just left her alone because she for the streets. This girl was the most beautiful girl I ever had. She was Lato, LMA, and literally Ice Spice mixed up into one. If you take them three, shake them up in a blender, she was just like them, but her body was even better. Face was better. This girl was beautiful. Girl was beautiful. All I noticed, I would fuck her every weekend. Monday, she with the homeboys. Tuesday, she with the homeboys. She got uh, vending machines with the homeboys. Oh, she finna take a trip with the homeboys. She hate hoes. She don't like hoes. Oh, she fought her homeboy baby mama. She fought her other homeboy uh, girlfriend. Oh, the guy I grew up with, this bitch tripping, I'ma get her the hands. Nah, you the jump off. These guys are fucking you. You're beautiful. They drug dealers. Come on, gang. You on mushrooms. You on all this. How do I know? I'm going to tell you, I got proof behind all of it. She calls her sister. Her sister called her. Her sister on drugs. Her sister said, hey, girl. Hey, girl, that your husband keep coming by here knocking on the door. We call the police on him. I found out she married. I'm like, damn. Bet. I'm glad she came this way. Then she said, oh, you over another nigga house again? It was her first time over my house. She said, oh, tell that nigga my sister, before me and her was even fucking, we fucked that night. My sister, she famous for putting her legs all the way behind her head. 
You for the streets, I cut her off. Only thing can come from the streets is STDs, death, bullets. Because this is what I'm telling you guys. It's 8.5 billion people in this earth. Women outnumber men. So many men are in jail. So many men are dead. And for every one man that's born, it's three females. So out of the 8.5 billion, I'm pretty sure 5.5 billion is females. For y'all to be stressing over one man or one woman, y'all are stupid as fuck. Y'all are stupid as fuck. Those are great examples. Tell me in the comment section and give me 5,000 likes, 50,000 views. I will continue on giving y'all all this sauce and all this game, but I'm not done. I'm finna give you a couple of more. All right. And these are different scenarios of girls that really don't think they for the streets, but they are for the streets. Now, shout out to your Sukiyanas. Shouts out to your sexy reds. Shouts out to all the women that's out here really fucking meddling and the stallion that's really done said they a hot girl. They don't give a fuck. Now, don't be tricked by my favorites. <clears throat> don't be tricked by Lotto. She talked that talk. But she with 21 Savage. Show you that I ain't picking on women. They say future Percocet, Molly Percocet, lean. They say that he made drugs popular. But every time you see him, he's sober. He do what it takes to get the money. So Lotto really not ripping it out the plastic because she got 21 Savage. Nicki Minaj really ain't looking for an anaconda because she got uh, her husband at home. Uh, Cardi B is offset in the mind because she's so in love with offset, but she talk about she twerking it on the dick. Um, so a lot of these women be in whole marriages and relationships, but they leading y'all down the wrong path. Y'all following their words. Their music, not their actions. Now, shouts out to the women that's really out here whoring for real. Those are the ones I respect. Not because you a whore. Nah, a whore is a whore. Nah, I don't respect whores, but I respect the more's levels. Like, I respect a uh, dope rapist, even though I kill him, more than I respect uh, somebody that pedophile and molest kids. Both of them are bad. But one of them is worse than me. I don't like killers that kill killers. But I'd rather you kill a killer than an innocent old lady bringing in her grocery. Make sense? So I don't like whores. But I like a whore that will admit and claim it and stand on it. Not a whore that's faking to make other whores whores. But they live in the picket fence life. Now that leads me to this. <coughs> I got a baby daddy. Number one, he got my body done. Baby daddy number two, he got green eyes and light skin. I like him. I want to fuck him, but he don't take care of his son. But my third baby daddy, he's in the house, and he mad at the other two. But she's on the phone with me trying to set up a date to come fuck me. She for the streets, but to her, she's a good mom in her head. How do I know she for the streets? A baby daddy walked in and said, who you on the phone with? She said, my own boy. He said, I'm tired of you talking to these niggas. She said, matter of fact, you know the guy. She shined the camera. I did like this. He said, I fuck with your music, fam. I said. She said, can you tell him as a real man that watching his kids while I go out on the weekends ain't shit? I said, I ain't getting y'all personal business. She for the streets. All right. That lead me to the next one, which got something to do with that, but it's a whole different situation. This girl got nine mug shots because she fights her baby daddy. Her baby daddy pop up at the club. She defends herself. Uh, he pops up. Listen where he pops up at. He pops up at the strip joint. She get arrested. He start the shit. She defend herself. He pops up at a date. He pops up when she cheats. So they get violent. She for the streets. Guys, if you got to put your hands on her. Guys, if you have to question her. Guys, if you have to run behind her.
Guys, if you have to worry about it, she for the streets. I'm going to tell you something, and I'm going to end this video this way. Y'all subscribe. 72% of y'all are not subscribed to watch my content. Y'all getting free game for nothing. Don't do me like that. Listen, guys. Listen, listen, listen. The more you try to stop your girl from fucking and try to control her, the more she gonna fuck. That is her pussy is attached to her. The women that cheat the most are the women that's faithful. Shut the fuck up and hear me out. I'm going beyond, beyond right now. The women that cheat the most is the faithful ones. Meaning this, that girl that you, you, she always right home out the word. She's a homebody. She ain't got no signs. She don't post on social media like that. She portrayed to be a good girl. She just, everything is perfect about her. It's no way that she out here horn. Those be the biggest whores. They just know how to pick and choose. Let me tell you how I know. When you fucking sheriffs, ladies, judges, lawyers, teachers, real estate agents, and you go look at their reviews and their page, and everybody telling them how successful they are, Everybody putting them on a pedestal and it seemed like that girl pussy is gold. Them be the ones cheating the most and be the biggest freaks. Because why? These girls have a celebrity or a rich husband at home. These girls have little baby as they baby daddy. Little dirt. But why these niggas at work or these niggas with they other bitches. I'm the nigga that they call. I swear to God, y'all. I'm trying to tell you, my I really don't have a middle name. I am the third. My middle name should be bitches, man, with a S, not bitch, bitches with a E. -S. Listen, it's amazing. I know I'm a handsome fella, but the bitches that I accumulate be crazy. You know when you think you getting catfished. These bitches that be hitting me up on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, them bitches got to have a fake catfish picture. And they'll FaceTime me and be like, Hey, Tab Flames, I love your song, Big Dog. I bought your merch. Uh, I support Global Drip. And you be like, this bitch is real. <coughs> I have to pinch myself and say, damn. I have to look in the mirror sometimes and be like, oh, okay, that's why. You that nigga. I swear to God. But with that said, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let's run it up. I holla, gang.